A big happy birthday is in order for a man named Benny Ashley, who is turning 105 this week. That is amazing. Benny is now the oldest living retiree from the Phoenix Fire Department. So Whitney joining us uh, after this uh, amazing celebration. Wow. Incredible. Yeah, it was so cool to meet him Gosh. and his family. And he's one of those guys that if you say his name to anyone in the department, they all know oh, sure. who he is. Yeah. yeah. Benny was with Phoenix Fire for more than 30 years, retiring as a captain. He also served in World War II in the Korean War and over the years has become a really beloved part of the department and the community he served. Back in 1917, Woodrow Wilson was president. Arizona had only been a state for five years, and it's the year Benny Ashley was born. Since then, he's watched just about every Phoenix street corner grow from his seat in his fire truck, even the job itself always evolving. We just went into the, to the smoke filled room and bought fire. Benny is now 105 years old. Happy birthday to you. It's a big milestone marked this week with a cake and a Lifetime Achievement Award from the folks with the Arizona Public Safety Personnel Retirement System. Benny's hard work and advocacy back in the 60s led to the creation of the system, which provides benefits for firefighters and law enforcement officers across Arizona. He joined the Phoenix Fire Department in 1942. Current Phoenix Fire Captain Brian Moore says Benny holds a tremendous amount of history with stories and amazing details of the way it once was. They didn't have breathing apparatus to protect them from the smoke. Um, they didn't have uh, thermal protection in the form of uh, turnout gear. The fire apparatus that they operated with and rode didn't have uh, seat belts. And you can bet Benny's daughter recalls those stories, including the maybe unbelievable. His crew would not go in the backyard of this house and he wanted to know why. And they said, there's a lion back there. <laughs> And so he said, no. So he went back there. Sure enough, there was an African lion back there. And this family had this lion as a pet. Firefighting, Phoenix, the world at large may have changed. But Benny will always be a man at home at the firehouse. Wow. Really incredible, right? You just saw that last photo. He sometimes will go visit some of the fire stations. They love to hear from him as oh, well. I, bet they do. I would like Talk a I would like a follow up though on the lion story. Yes. Where that came I from? Know more about that too. How that happened? Yeah. Oh my so, god! Yeah, really cool stuff. Oh, well, a happy, happy birthday <laughs> and uh, glad that he's able to uh, be here and enjoy that acknowledgement, that sense of community that yeah. lives on and on. Oh, and the stories he must have. Oh, wow. yeah. Incredible. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Whitney. Thanks. All right.